Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm here today to share with you my recent Zara sale purchases because you know what time of the year it is. It is the annual, well, semi-annual, I don't even know whenever Zara does it, but it is their summer sale, which means everything is super marked down. And as stores are always selling stuff ahead of season, they're bringing in all of their fall stuff already. So since summer has officially just started now in Toronto, it's only finally warming up a little bit. You can get all of your summer wardrobe for a super discounted price. And of course, I ransacked the sale to find some of my favorites and some of the best of the best of the sale to share with you guys what you can nap if you need some new pieces in your wardrobe. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video and I'm gonna show you what I picked up from the Zara sale. So I know this is not anything summer related, but I've had my eye on this sweater for so long. When I saw that it was on sale, I was like instantly, gotta get my hands on this. And it is this kind of like creamy beige type of shirt material, but then the sleeves are this really cool knit material. So it's kind of chunky and different and I don't own any sort of sweater like this. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. You guys will see towards the end of the video or I may even insert styling clips after each piece as to how I'm planning on wearing them and how they look on their own. So I'm gonna really have to put this on to determine whether or not I really like it. But so far I have my this. It's a good price. I think right now it's on sale for $22.90 and the original full price was $45.90. So that's essentially 50% off. That's a pretty good steal for a sweater guys. So can't blame myself for picking this one up. Pushing you away while I want you to stay. Amazing God is eyes, but my heart still beats. When I say no, it's yes. I'm putting you to the test. Can you handle me? Do you have the key? Sorry that I've been playing games. Do you really have what it takes? I guess so, I guess so. I guess so, I guess so. Next thing that I picked up is this really cool kind of vest dress type of situation. This was on sale for $59.99. And it's regularly 100 bucks, so I think that was also like a quite a steal. I got two different ones, this one and one other one. I'm not gonna keep both just because I don't need two different vest dress situations, but I was really drawn to the whole kind of houndstooth, checkered, plaid material. But the great thing about this piece is that you can also transition it super easy into your fall and like further wardrobe by simply layering this with a turtleneck top underneath and then some like thigh high boots or something. You're gonna keep yourself super warm. Otherwise for the summertime, I would just wear this as a dress on its own or I would even layer this over like a white t-shirt and biker shorts to get like a very chill, relaxed, casual vibe. But I think this is really cute. I'm excited to show you guys different ways I'm gonna style this one. I am a queen, I need my king. Now you better not to sin. I think so, I think so. I think so, I think so. Okay, let me just be honest with you. I want my jewel, want my jewel, want my jewel. And okay, I've been riding circles all the time. But I want my jewel, want my jewel, want my jewel. Another piece that I picked up, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep this or not. I got this for about $49.99 and full price it is $79.90, so about 80 bucks before tax. It is this really cute kind of floral printed overall with like a giant pocket in the front. I thought it was really cute at first, but I'm now thinking that I may be a little too kind of like wispy, bohemian, or like country girl vibes just for my personal taste, so I'm definitely gonna have to try it on. Might even try belting it with something just to see how it looks, because I think that might be cute, but overall as a singular Huh. Overall for myself, I'm not too sure about this. Plus it's a little bit thin, so I think you're gonna have to wear quite nude colored underwear or like coordinate your undergarments to match with this to make sure that you don't see anything, which sometimes I find that be such a headache because if I have all my nude underwear in the wash, I'm like, how am I supposed to wear my clothes? But besides that, we'll see how this is styled on me. That is not really summer geared is this beautiful wool beret. I have an affinity towards berets and I don't have one in this color quite yet. I have a very kind of like caramel chocolatey brown color so I wanted something a little bit different and it's this like really cool heathered brown with like different textures and stuff so I figured like why not. It was on sale for $19.99. Originally full price is $29.90 so you're not getting that much of a sale but I thought the price was decent enough that I could justify buying it. I find myself wearing berets in the fall and winter all the time anyway so I felt like you know what I'm gonna get my wear out of this so pretty decent price if I can say so myself. Move 
this pillow out of the way because it's kind of getting in the way of me reaching for my clothes because I had them all stored on this side and it's like really difficult for me to keep reaching for them, shuffling the pillow back and making sure that it looks cute in each and every single frame. Ain't nobody got time for that guys, okay? Let's be real. Over there it goes. <laughs> Next up is this really, really cute skirt that I also got for $49.99. Regular price is $79.90 and I love this print. It is so cute. It is definitely like a wraparound skirt. So it will open a little bit, but it has like a nice flow to it. And then the bottom is kind of, I don't know how to explain this. It goes up and then back down a little bit where it crosses over. I bought a dress in this exact same print to bring with me to Portugal a few weeks ago and I loved it. I got so many compliments on the dress. So I figured if I want something a little bit more casual that I can wear out with like a t-shirt, this is a cute option. It is a wrap skirt that you just wrap around anything that you have. The other dress had like huge poofy sleeves. So I felt like that wasn't really appropriate for every day to day wear, but this is cute and I love it. Next up is a purchase I wasn't too sure about and it is these really cute kind of like wide cuffed trousers. It is in a really, really bright red. I don't really have pants of this shade and I was actually hoping to find a matching blazer to go with this one because I have a lot of suits that I have a very tapered pant leg and I wanted something that was a little bit wider, more loose, a little bit more masculine looking. So this was a great silhouette to pick up. I got this at, I believe, $35.99 and full price it is $49.90 so it's not the best sale or like a discount for a piece and I'm not too sure if I'm going to be keeping it just because I didn't find the matching jacket but it is a stunning silhouette. I wish I found the matching jacket because it would have been a perfect suit to have for summertime but if you guys are a fan of red and you do like a simple pant like this this would be really great for office wear or like work wear even for like a really nice formal event put together like a really nice white silk blouse and like some really high pointy black heels and you're solid. I'm gonna have to style this with a couple pieces to see whether or not I'm gonna keep it. But so far at the back of my head, I think I'm not going to just because I was really hoping to have it as like a two piece set as opposed to just like a singular piece. <laughs> Next is a very simple basic top that is 100% for summer and it's this really cute white top with like balloon sleeves here. I honestly thought that the material was actually going to be a little bit better when I saw it online. The middle portion here is just like a very very simple basic like nylon-y material and I'm not the biggest fan of that because the sleeves are more like structured cotton-esque linen blend and I was hoping that the entire shirt would be like this. I don't always love it when they switch up materials in your clothing unless it's like meant to be like that. But the design of this one actually makes it seem as if it, they were just trying to go cheap and get like really cheap material for the middle. So this is definitely going to be returned. I believe I paid about $15.99 for this one. And then full price is $25.90. So you're only really getting $10 off. It's not even like 50% off. I think $15 for kind of like a very cheaply made shirt is not necessarily worth it. So this is going to go straight back to the store for me, but I still will show you guys how I would style it had I kept it. I am a queen, I need my dream. You better not to swim. I think so, I think so. I think so, I think so. Okay. Let me just be honest with you. I want you, want you, want you. And okay. Also not really summer, but kind of summer because our summers are not always that hot is this really cute black floral dress. It has like a chiffon layer on the outside and it also comes with a slip. I love picking up pieces from Zara that come with slips because you can always take these two apart and always transfer the slip to another dress that you have so you don't have to go out and buy slips. And honestly, because of all the different dresses that I purchased from Zara, I have so many slips that I never really have to purchase them anymore. I just mix and match them in between my dresses and sometimes I actually forget which ones belong with which dress, but it's totally okay. As long as you have something underneath to like really cover up your undergarments, that's all that really matters. So this dress was super cute because it has a little cuff sleeve here which gives the sleeve um, a really balloony kind of effect. And I do like that the sleeve portion is still fairly transparent so you get that really cool summer see-through vibe going through there. And there's also a really cute kind of ruffle detailing at the hem at the bottom with some lace right here. So it's gonna flow really nicely into the summer. The color is a little bit dark for my preference. I was hoping for it to be a little bit lighter, so I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep this one. I've been kind of transitioning a little bit more to brighter summery colors for the warmer season, and I feel like this is more suited for a fall had I worn it with like 
thigh high boots like my my gray Stuart Weitzman ones I think I may be returning this one because I already have enough fall-ish dresses in my closet to sustain me for a lifetime price wise a full price this was $79.90 and I got this one for $59.99 so I think at a discount that was not bad $60 for an $80 dress I mean it's not the best but it's also not the worst at the end of the day you're saving about $20 so why not if you guys are down for a $60 dress that I do think is beautifully made I just don't think I have space for in my closet definitely get your hands on this one it is gonna be a keeper Next up is this really, really cute yellow satin skirt. I have been on the hunt for a pale yellow satin skirt for as long as I remember. I have seen so many other beautiful ones with like a brighter yellow or like a richer, darker, more golden yellow. And I'm so happy I finally landed my hands on this one from Zara. Got this on sale for $29.99. Full price, this was $49.90. So $30 from 50 bucks still $20 savings but it's kind of better of a savings than the dress that I showed you guys because it's even cheaper it's like $30 versus 60 but anyways I like this skirt so much if you guys aren't familiar the whole satin skirt trend it's super in right now and it's kind of like a midi skirt length so it's nice and long it's not gonna like cut you off at a weird length and make you look short and I think this paired together with like a really simple white sandal is gonna be the ultimate ultimate look for the summer I can already foresee myself wearing this with white sandals and like a white t-shirt just kind of like knotted up at around my waist and kind of like tie it off to the side as a crop top or you can just go straight into wearing a crop top with this this is gonna be a piece that will transition perfectly from like street style to running errands to even going vacation just just because it's such an effortless and easy piece of style and although it's like very very simple the texture of it and the sheen and reflectiveness of the material makes it kind of like a little bit more elevated so you look really put together when you haven't really tried to and these are kind of like outfit closet hacks I like to have at the back of my hand whenever I'm too lazy to pick an outfit together I'm just like I know that one's gonna look good so let's just throw it on for the day I know this is a little bit silly but I just purchased a matching top to this and when I purchased this one I still had that matching top it had this kind of like banana pepper print on it with like yellow peppers as well I thought it was so cute for the summer unfortunately when I tried on the top one of the sleeves just like completely snapped off I ended up going back to Zara and returning it and the sales associate actually told me that they were having issues with that top at a couple other locations as well and everybody had been returning it so I think because I'm not gonna own the top anymore this is gonna go straight back to the store my intention was to wear it as like a matching set I know you can definitely wear this on its own but I really want it as a matching set if you guys can't tell I love matching sets right now and yeah so this is probably gonna go back even though I think it was a decent price it was on sale for $19.99 and at full price this skirt goes for $39.90 so that's a full 50% discount 20 bucks instead of $40 why not guys super cute I also want to mention that it is a skirt underneath so if you're somebody who looks at this and you're like wow that skirt is like really freaking short I cannot wear that because I'm gonna have a Marilyn Monroe one where my skirt just like flies up completely don't worry it's a skort so if anything flies you're still not gonna be flashing anybody and I actually love this so weird when I was younger I used to wear skorts all the time well my mom would get me to wear skorts I used to tell her like it's so not cool like why can't I just wear a regular skirt like all my friends wear skirts why do I have to wear a skort? it's so lame nowadays I appreciate the invention of a skort because it saves me the hassle of worrying as to whether or not my skirt's gonna fly up and I'm like skort, give it to me I'll take it guys Like I mentioned, I got two of these kind of vesty dress situations. I'm really gonna have to see which one kind of fits in with my overall closet a little bit better than the other. I love this one so much because it's more of like a neutral color. It's black and white with like little gold threads going through it. Whereas the other one is more blue and black. And this one gives me really Chanel vibes because of the Tweety pattern. The other one had a very checked pattern to it. So although it's similar texture, it didn't really give me Chanel vibes. And it felt more casual, whereas this one felt a little bit more elevated. I did appreciate though how the other one had two buttons. This one only has one, so 
Unfortunately, it's not as much detailing on it and the button's kind of hidden away because it's the same material, but I think they're both super cute. You guys will, you guys will see how I like to style this one. Probably the exact same way as the other one, but both just as cute. Full price, this one was $79.90 and I managed to get this one on sale for $59.99. So again, not the best deal, but like a pretty decent price. If you're paying only 60 bucks for this and you can like wear this in a couple of different ways, Plus this will transition so well for work wear as well as everyday casual wear. So I think there's a lot of different varieties with this piece. And if you mix and match it properly, you can get quite a bit of wear out of this. And that's where the price kind of like comes in to be kind of fair when you're factoring the cost per wear for this specific piece. Last clothing piece I'm going to show you guys before I move over to footwear and obviously did I do a Zara sale if I didn't buy shoes because you guys know I have a problem. I am addicted to Zara shoes. But this is a really cute kind of like polka dot long sleeve shirt. It is so long. I hope you guys can like see this. I'm holding this as high as I can and I don't think it's even like showing the bottom of the shirt on the camera. We'll see in the footage afterwards when I edit this. But I was drawn to this top because I don't have any sort of blouses with this dot polka dot type of detailing on it. I also kind of really like the gauzy material, but the caveat to that is, is that it literally feels like gauze. And knowing myself, I'm super ditzy and clumsy. And if I was to rub up against anything that had any sort of rough texture, it is gonna pull this entire shirt. So I do not trust myself with this shirt. And unfortunately, I think it's a little bit too long for me right now. If this was four years ago me, I would have absolutely loved this. Back then I loved wearing blouses as dresses, cinching them in with the waist or just wearing them as like a pure A-line. Nowadays, I'm not the biggest fan of that look anymore. I prefer a blouse to be just a blouse. So although this is really cute and I think it kind of really fulfilled everything I thought it was, at the end of the day, I don't think I'd be able to take care of this well enough and the material is a little bit scratchy and exactly what I thought it would be, which is kind of what I didn't want. I don't know, it's one of those weird conundrums. I think this is gonna be returned. Full price, this one is $49.90 and I got this one on sale for $35.99. I do think this is a great steal if you guys can manage to style something like this frequently, if this is kind of your look, just be mindful that you're gonna have to definitely wear stuff underneath that doesn't show through. So you're gonna need a liner under here, which all the other like slips that I purchased from Zara when I come to the dresses is gonna come in really handy. So if you have a white one, this is perfect. Otherwise, I would layer this over top like a swimsuit to be a swimsuit cover up or like a lacy bralette and like high-waisted jeans just make sure you're not walking around with just an underwear and a bra when you're wearing this or else it's gonna look a little weird so moving on to shoes i had to repurchase this pair that you guys saw in one of my previous Zara hauls. I love them so much that when I saw they went on sale, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna take the dive and purchase them again. Stupid me, bought them in the exact same size. And you guys remember my complaint last time was that they were way too big. Went back, the size I needed is no longer available in stock, so these are still gonna go back to Zara. And if you guys fit into this size, definitely pick it up. It was full price $99 and it is currently on sale for $59.90. So I think that's a great price for a pair of shoes that are kind of a classic silhouette and you can wear so many different things. I wish I got this in the right size. I'm just sometimes like my mind does things where I don't even realize what I'm thinking about. So I don't know, this was a stupid purchase. I'm kind of pissed at myself that I got this because now I have to make the trip all the way back to Zara just to return it. Another purchase I didn't really see myself making until I looked at it and I was like, dang, this is a really, really cute pair of shoes are these red mules right here, guys. I don't own anything this shade of red. This shade of red in particular. I have two pairs of red boots. One is a burgundy. One's more of like a dark red. This is more of like a tomato red, and I don't have anything like this that's really for the summertime. I think this is so, so, so stinking cute. It's on sale for $35.99. Full price, these shoes are $59.90. So because they are like a really light kitten heel, it's gonna be so easy to style with your summer outfits. You can literally wear these out while you're running your errands and not worry about whether or not you're gonna break your ankle. And I do love that it's super easy to like take on and off because it is a slide in. 
Love it. The thick band up here too makes it really easy to wear because it doesn't dig into your foot. The only downside that I find is that this buckle is not a real one. So if you're trying to readjust it to fit your feet, you're not gonna be able to, and that's kind of sucky, but definitely try them on in store first to see if they fit your feet. They fit mine, so that was lucky. Otherwise, that's the only really downfall for this pair of shoes. I would highly recommend it. They're so comfy, and I can see myself wearing them as like a bright pop of color with a full white outfit or with just like jeans and a white top. I'm really loving white tops right now. I know what's wrong with me. Super basic, but it's it's just my jam that I've been feeling lately, guys. Just my jam. Do you really have what it takes? I guess so, I guess so. I guess so, I guess so. I am a queen, I need my king. You better not to sin. I think so, I think so. So adding to my collection of dainty sandals with kitten heels for the summer, if you guys have seen that video yet, are these kind of like orangey snakeskin print sandals right here. They're very strappy. Perfectly on trend for the season right now. Everybody's wearing these shoes and they actually fit super comfy. So if you guys have already seen my other video as like the five must have shoes for the summer, then you'll know that these are the exact type of shoes I was recommending when I was showing you my white and black ones. I love, love, love these because they have such a simple detailing of the snakeskin print on it. And there's only like three straps on this, so it's gonna be really comfortable. It's not gonna dig into your feet. It won't take you five hours to try them on. If you're somebody who can comfortably put these around the back of your heel as well, it's gonna be extra secure. But I believe this strap here is supposed to stay on the front of your foot and it looks really pretty. It's kind of one of those like there but not really there type of shoes. And I can definitely see myself getting quite a bit of wear out of these ones for the summer. The white ones I've completely demolished. They had another pair of my size available. I would repurchase them again just because I've worn them so much that it's gotten like really, really, really dirty. And surprisingly, those are like the most worn shoes I've worn so far this summer just because they're so stinking comfortable, guys. So if you wanna get a similar pair, get your hands on these ones. Really, really cute and comfy as well. These ones are on sale for $35.99 from $49.90, so it's not the best price, but like $35 for a pair of shoes, all you have to do is wear them at least like once a day for an entire month and you get your wear out of it, essentially. I think so, I think so, okay? Let me just be honest with you. I want my you, want you, want you. Hello, okay? Very last thing I'm gonna show you guys in this haul are a pair of boots I've had my eye on since the fall. So please don't be mad at me, but I got a pair of boots for fall winter time. I think I could probably wear them sometime this summer if it gets a little chilly or if I wanna wear boots, just whatever. If I wanna wear boots, I'll wear boots, guys. But it is this beautiful kind of burgundy snakeskin print boots. So cute, I love this style. I love, love, love the silhouette when it comes to boots and I will literally snatch up boots that look like this anytime whenever I see them. These are regularly full price at $79.90 and they're currently on sale for $49.99 so 50 bucks compared to 80, not exactly like 100%, like a really amazing sale, but they are boots and because they're so comfy and it's such a low heel, it's a pair of shoes you're gonna get a lot of wear. Transitioning from wearing it a few times in the summer to quite a bit in the fall, to a little bit less in the winter, to like next year as well. And because it is such a classic silhouette, it's not a pair of shoes that I ever really see myself rotating out of my closet. So I'm really glad I picked it up. I honestly just purchased it because I don't have shoes with this like interesting detail on it. I can wear a super simple outfit and throw in these shoes and instantly look put together, which is why I purchased them. So very happy to finally snag this in my size since I've been wanting them the entire winter season. Enjoyed that video and got to see what I picked from the Zara sale right now. If you guys are currently shopping at the Zara sale as well, make sure to let me know down below in the comments what you guys are picking up. Or if you guys picked up any of the pieces that I currently just showed in the video, I would love to hear from you guys, especially to see photos as to how you guys style them as well. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure you subscribe so you know each and every single time I upload a brand new video. Otherwise, have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.